So uh, two years ago, I did my first uh, TED talk and about wave energy. And after my talk, prior to my talk, there was a girl playing the harp. So the harp remained on stage throughout all the talks. Two weeks after, I finally received the photos from the TED talk. I was so excited to share it on Facebook, expecting everybody to say, wow, you're such an amazing entrepreneur, you did a TED talk. But everybody said, oh my god, that's amazing, you're playing the harp, we didn't know. <laughs> Since then, I spoke in many different events and uh, about wave energy. And every time I spoke about wave energy, people came to me and said, how it's like being a female entrepreneur? So I said to myself, maybe being a female entrepreneur is even less understood than wave energy. So I decided to do my talk today about this subject. Uh, I would like to give five tips from my personal experience as a female entrepreneur. So the first one is women must stop being apologetic. For some reason, females tend to apologize not only for their failures, but even for their success. I was in a conference that was supposed to uh, celebrate female entrepreneurship and there were four strong women sitting on stage. And the host asked them, do you feel that there's a glass ceiling? All of them said no. None of them was the CEO of our company. The next question was, what do you attribute your success to? One of them said it's because she's from a very wealthy family. The other one said it's because her father is a professor. And the third one said it's because she studied advanced science class in high school. All the women around me looked shocked. If our father is not a professor, we're not from a rich family, and we didn't took advanced science class in high school, what chance do we have for success? So when I thought about male entrepreneurs like Steve Jobs, they all attribute the success to themselves, to their charisma, to their passion. They started in the garage, they had no money, they were adopted, and they did it all because of themselves. Women need to claim the same thing. We need to say that it's because of our charisma, because of our passion, and because of our abilities. My next tip is that we need to stop being shy to speak about money. For some reason, female entrepreneurs, when they need to raise one million dollars, they're asking for one hundred thousand dollars. A man, when he needs one million dollars, he's asking for five million dollars because he knows that in the startup world, many times you have unexpected uh, expenses and you don't always develop the product on time. So we need to feel comfortable speaking about money. My third advice is that you don't have to be perfect. When I established EcoWave Power, I was 24 years old. I had no money, I had no contacts, and no technical experience. But I still went ahead and constructed wave energy power stations. So I didn't let external factors stop me, but some female let external factors scare them away. There's a famous study by Hewlett Packard that is showing that uh, when a man meets 60% of the criteria for a job application, he would apply. But a female would apply only when she meets 100%. We need to understand that entrepreneurs do not have to be perfect. By the way, the previous slide, I put it twice because I wanted to earn more time and I'm not perfect. The fourth thing is that we need to maintain a supportive environment. When I say a supportive environment, I don't mean having uh, only our friends and family support us. I mean it on the macro level. This is a recent picture from Israel. Angela Merkel came for a visit and she asked to meet the startup community. They brought only men and she said, oh my God, I guess Israel is not advanced enough to have female entrepreneurs. But it's good that it came out because it shows exactly what we need to change. The last thing that I would like to say is basically take every advice that you can get from male and female entrepreneurs, but in the end of the day, just be yourself. Follow your dreams, follow your passion, follow your instinct. And I would like to finish my uh, Ignite talk by uh, borrowing a quote from Sheryl Sandberg. She once said that if you're offered a seat on a spaceship, just get on, don't ask which seat. And I'm saying, if you're being offered a seat on a spaceship, don't ask who's flying the ship, a man or a woman. Just get on. Thank you. <laughs>